Hi, my name is Anthony Kanyudigit. I represent Sweden in the 2012 Olympics in London and I am currently the EBU European Champion in the Light Welterweight Division. And uh, together uh, with me today is Tagira Begum. Uh, she is my assistant and uh, we're going to be showing you on how to throw a couple of different jabs uh, and how to switch it up a bit to make sure to uh, open up uh, for your left hand as a southpaw, left hand is your backhand. All right, so as a southpaw, as always, you got to remember that your opponent uh, mostly or in most cases will be orthodox. So that's what we're going to go up against uh, even today. And we're going to be working the jab and why you should work the jab and how you should work it in different scenarios. Okay, so for example, you got to remember the jab is, is not only a punch, it's a tool for you to use. This is not so much only for uh, this is not only for southpaws, but even for you orthodox people that are watching this can uh, take uh, something out of this. So, you have the first normal jab, the conventional jab, which is that you take the step forward and you punch at the same time. So, there you go, because it, keeps, it gives you the uh, momentum to throw the left hand straight in over here, alright? You can also use the jab uh, in other instances, for example, if you want to make sure uh, that your opponent is going to get confused, if you want to confuse your opponent, and this is not only, uh, this is not only for southpaw people, but even for you orthodox that are watching this, that, want, that goes with a normal uh, lefty stance, can also use this. What you want to do is to uh, make sure that your opponent gets confused, so you can just flick your jab out, just to feel the distance of where you are because if you're fighting someone you gotta remember that being here is one thing but being here and keeping that jab going makes so much more difference because it will confuse your opponent your, com your opponent will have second thoughts of coming in trying to punch throwing combinations and you will feel the distance to make sure that once you come in that you can punch with this hand yeah and then you can go back to jabbing so one of the jabs, except the conventional jab, is a flicking jab. It's just a touching jab. It's not hard at all. It's just, just your arm working, basically. Just to make sure, just to give you room and give you that momentum to throw that left hand, all right? And keep that distance, all right? The next jab is a bit harder jab. This is the jab you can throw if you really want to put some power in. What you want to do is to make sure that when you throw it, that your elbow is pointing up. The reason why is because when you go on, when, when you go in uh, deep to throw this punch, is that you're gonna be quite close to your opponent. So when you throw it, you go straight in. But look, my elbow is pointing up. The reason for this is that your hand, your arm will be more stable than here. Over here, you can basically work. You can basically just push it up. But here, it's quite strong. It's quite solid. Yeah, and, and your shoulder will also protect your chin from getting hit from this side. So, because you see the difference from keeping my hand here and if I bring my elbow and my shoulder up, my chin is protected. So that's basically how we want to go in. So, you go in, punch in here. You see that? It's quite solid jab. It keeps you protected. And if you want to, you can just come straight in with, with your left hand now. Punch straight in. And this, this goes for you orthodox people as well. If you want to troll from this side, is that you straight in here, and then you just troll this one after that. It's quite strong, it's a strong jab. Strong jab, all right. The next jab is more of an uppercut kind of jab, just to flick it, but flick it upwards. The reason why you want to do this is because you're gonna trick your opponent to keep, to get her guard down, yeah? So, if you're jabbing, for example, flicking it, flicking it here, she's gonna want to take it away. So when you flick it, she's gonna be wanting to take it away like that. And what it does is that it gives you that momentum that when she takes her hand down, if we do it one more time, she's quite open for this one, or or she uh, or the hook is straight. So she's quite open for that one, yeah. 
because she's gonna be wanting to do it slowly, slowly she will do it, yeah? So you gotta try it a couple of times, you keep your hand up, so you, you flick it like this, then you throw that little flick upwards, like an uppercut, and once she, you feel that she's taking her hand down, just a little bit, that's where you can come in, yeah? Another jab that I would like to show you and demonstrate to you is more like a hook and I like this because it gives you more openings uh, for your left hand. This is, most, this is very good for uh, southpaws because it keeps you out on the right side again. Remember what I told you to make sure to keep your foot outside her foot and go on the right side. So this is more like a hook not so much as a jab but we'll say that it's a jab because it comes mostly from the jab. Yeah. All right. So after you throw the jab, you can throw it like a hook. It's like a hook, but yeah. it's like a very sloppy, sloppy hook. It's just to make sure that she touches, uh, that, you, that you touch her gloves or whatever it is, because when you do it, you gotta make sure that you take your step in. And it's the same thing again, one o'clock. So you take your step in, one o'clock. You see, I'm in distance now to throw this hand. Even if she throws, uh, a right hand, throw a right hand, she misses you because you go, because you've been slightly moving to your right with your foot. If I would have taken my foot straight in, like 12 o'clock, and she would punch me, uh, and she would throw her right towards me, then she would hit me straight in. And we don't want this to happen. That's why we take our step slightly to the side. That's the reason we do it. So if we do it one more time, she misses you, yeah? And you will come in with a one-two there. One-two, you see? And then you can move to the side again. From here, you can punch. And all that time it takes for her to rotate, you can still punch her, and that's how you get it. If I show you one more time, so you throw the jab, you can flick it a couple of times, doesn't matter how you throw it, throw it up, throw it, and then you come in with a sloppy hook. At the same time you do it, you gotta bring your foot with it. So, sloppy hook, bring the foot, you see? And then you just throw this hand straight in, straight in there. If you want to look, you can finish off to the body just like I showed you on the combinations tour before. Combination up here, down there, and moving to the side. Or just be content with that, move to the side and throw your combinations from there. One more time. If you don't want to move to the side, you can still use the jab and the hook to keep her away from you. For example, if she throws uh, a jab at you, your jab will go over hers and mostly uh, you will hit her because your other hand keeps you protected here. So if we do it one more time, punch, yeah? Your hand is quite here, but I would recommend that we move to the side and this jab only opens up for, for, for the right hand. That's mostly what we use the jabs for. So you want to end up here and then move to the side. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video on how to throw jabs as a southpaw, but even as an orthodox. Um, please, if you would like to see more of me, follow me on my Instagram, Digit Yigit, or my Facebook page, Anthony Kanyu Digit Yigit, or also my webpage, digityigit.com. And also my assistant, Tahira, you can follow her on her Instagram. That's uh, TS underscore Pilates. And uh, thank you so much for us.